Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Karen Sizzlin Spice. Today we are making one of my favorites and I haven't made this in a while. Uh, it's called Cheesy Pull Apart Bread. It is just decadent. If you're looking for a game day food, if you're looking for an appetizer for the holidays, this meets all those qualifications. You guys are gonna love this one. Let me show you what we need. Here's everything we're gonna need for today's video. <laughs> we're gonna need some beautiful, oh, some crusty bread. This is Italian bread. I love bread. I'm sorry, I'm addicted. Love it. We're gonna be using some mozzarella cheese. We're gonna use some cheddar cheese, some sharp cheddar. We're gonna use some butter. We're gonna use some poppy seeds, which are terrific on here, some green onion, some basil, and I'm so lucky to still have basil from my garden, and some fabulous garlic. You guys are gonna love this one. Let's get started. What do you think? Is it as big as my head? Almost. <laughs> bread, I love it. All right, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut the bread. We're gonna actually put checkerboard cuts in here. So, you know, this one actually has some lines in it already. I'm just gonna follow those lines. And you wanna be sure not to um, go all the way through. We're just going part of the way through. So we're gonna go across like this. Because if you haven't made this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to pull out these delectable, cheesy, garlicky, buttery pieces of bread. It's fantastic. Okay, and a serrated knife works the best for this. And you can use any kind of crunchy bread that you like. Uh, I have used sourdough before, but I love the Italian bread even more. So that's what we're using today. So now that I've got it cut this way, I'm gonna turn my bread and I'm gonna cut it the other way. So I'm creating little squares that are cut. Again, be careful, don't go too far through. We don't want this to fall apart, oh no. Everybody loves this dish, it's magical. Do you remember the last time I made it in? I do, it was a while ago. I wish yeah. we would have done more. Yeah, it's been a while. So I'm anxious to taste this, I'm anxious to share this with everybody. It's gonna be fantastic. You can put your own spin on this too. I'm gonna to show you how I like to make it, but you know, you can add different cheeses, you can add different spices, whatever you and your family like. Be creative, make it your own. And we have to make it beautiful. You know what I say, you eat with your eyes first, so you've gotta make it gorgeous. You see how beautifully that starts to come apart? Just like that, that's exactly what we want. So for this bread, uh, we're gonna use parchment paper and aluminum foil. I've put parchment paper on my sheet pan here, but I'm gonna use aluminum foil as well because we don't want this to burn in the oven and um, it's gonna go in the oven once we've got it all prepared for about 20 minutes and then we'll take all the foil off. This way you'll have the parchment left here. It's gonna make cleanup easier and I just love parchment paper, I use it all the time. So I'm gonna take some aluminum foil out here ready to go. That should be big enough. And then I'm gonna put my bread right in the middle of the dish here. And then let me show you how we're gonna prepare the fabulousness that goes in here next. Now that I have my bread cut, I have set my oven to 350. I have a whole stick of butter. Oh my gosh, you guys know this is gonna be decadent. I'm just gonna let this melt. And while that melts, I'm just gonna get some green onion chopped up here. Green onion tastes fantastic in here. So just give it a good chop. I'm just pressing some wonderful fresh garlic here. And for Ed and I, seriously, I don't think there can be, ever be too much garlic. We love the garlic. So I'm using about four good sized cloves here. We're gonna add this right to the butter. Friends, I can always count on my wonderful husband to help me in the kitchen. He's such a great sous chef, such a great cameraman, and such a great grater. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need about a cup of cheddar. We're gonna do a cup of mozzarella. 
You could add Parmesan to this, whatever you guys like. It can never be too cheesy. Ed, is there ever too much cheese? Never. I didn't think so. Hey, I love you. <laughs> I love you. The mozzarella is next. Keep on grating, honey. Oh, yeah. Okay, now my butter is nice and melty. We're going to add a few things to it. Uh, some garlic, the garlic that I crushed up. Oh, yeah. We're going to add a little bit of basil. And when I have dried basil, I like to kind of crunch it up in my hands and put it in the pan. We're going to add some salt, a couple pinches of salt. I'll turn that down. A little bit of pepper. And I'm just going to give this a good stir. And I'm going to let these flavors marry, meld, get together, have a party. Get, red, get ready for their next destination in the bread. We'll be right back. I just poured that butter mixture into a measuring cup. This way it's going to be, oops, it's going to be easier for me to pour it into the bread, into the crevices. Um, Ed, uh... Do you think we cut up too much cheese here? Never! <laughs> we'll have to see if we can fit it all in there. It's going to be fun, isn't it? That'll be fun. All right, let's move to this. And what you have to do now is as you're adding your ingredients here, you just got to pry it open with your fingers like this. So very carefully, I'm going to pry open this bread. And I'm going to just pour little bits of butter here. And you know what? This is going to get pretty messy, so don't worry about it. Let it get messy. Yeah, there we go. Just a little bit. Oopsie. I'm pulling it apart. I don't want it to pull apart yet. <laughs> so be careful not to pull it apart too much. Again, we want it to look gorgeous, right? Yes. Look at that. Okay, and I can just put some of this stuff right back. It'll be beautiful. Just like that. And we're going to open the bread the other way and uh, give it more of the same. Yeah. Just pour it in carefully. Oh, yeah, just like that. Yum, yum, yum. Now the bread, the butter uh, is leaving lots of the garlic at the bottom. So I'm just, oh, my God, we're not going to waste one bit of that. I'm just using my small spatula here. And I'm just adding it right inside the bread there. And like I said, this gets good and messy. That's what makes it so wonderful. Yeah. Look at that. We're not going to waste one drop of that butter or that garlic. No way, no how. Yeah, Eddie? Correct. <laughs> and the spatula works nice because it kind of splits open the bread for you pretty easily. Put all that deliciousness in there. Mm -hmm. Now that I've got that buttery, garlicky mixture all in here, now next to start shoving in the cheese. Now this is fun. You could get your kids to help you with this. You just kind of push it in wherever you can. Here. The spatula really helps to split it open. Just go like that. Shove it in there. Let me put some of the mozzarella in here. Oh my goodness. This is the definition of decadence, don't you think? Uh, I agree. Oh my God, it's so good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm just gonna keep shoving this cheese in and wherever I can. Look at this. <laughs> Take a closer look at that, Ed. Messy, but flipping fantastic. Now I'm gonna try just to get a few of the green onions inside the bread. And then we will sprinkle the rest of the green onion on top. Yeah. Oh, I love green onion on here. Mm. Yes. It's so good. Friends, look at this creation. This thing looks fantastic. For the last touch on here, I'm going to put some poppy seeds on top. If you don't like poppy seeds, don't put them on. I love that look. I love that crunch. It's wonderful. Look at that fabulousness. I don't know, I can't wait to get my mouth around this. How about you, Eddie? Same with me. <laughs> Looks amazing. You know what I'm gonna do to be safe? We wanna cover this pretty well for the first 20 minutes that it's in the oven. So I'm actually gonna use a little spray pan on this so it's gonna go right here on the middle because I don't want all that 
fabulous cheese to stick to the foil. So we're gonna wrap this like this. Just like that. And it's ready to go into our 350 degree oven for 20 minutes and I'll show you guys what it looks like then. So my kitchen smells like heaven. Do you agree, Eddie? I do. The smell of butter and garlic and cheese just makes me crazy. We're gonna open this up now. It's been 20 minutes. And let's see. Oh, look at that. See the, putting on that nonstick spray really helped so the cheese didn't stick at all. Look at that fabulousness. O-M-G. <laughs> Now I wanna get all the foil off. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to do that. Let me get a spatula, I'll be right back. Friends, you know what I decided to do rather than fighting with this foil to get it out from underneath? I'm just gonna cut it right there and I can serve this right on the tray like this. We're gonna be putting this back in the oven. This way the bread on the top will crunch up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Let me put this back in the oven and uh, probably about five, to 10 minutes or so. And again, you can bake it to your desired doneness. I would like that cheese to be a little crunchy. I'd like to see some more crunch on the bread. So we'll put this back in the 350 degree oven just like this. OMG, I put this in the oven for another 10 minutes or so. Look at this fabulousness. This is amazing. The tasting is next. <laughs> we have our forks in hand and you know you can just yank a piece right out of this thing <laughs> and we're going to taste the fabulousness here. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, let's see. Where should we start? I'm, I'm going to go right here in here. Where <gasps> oh, God. Look at the cheese, guys. Look at the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it's still going. Mm. This. Oh, my gosh. Mm. <laughs> Wow, garlicky, cheesy. The green onions are fabulous. Oh my God, the garlic, it's amazing. Delicious. Wow, 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 wow. I hope you guys have enjoyed your visit here with us today. Please come back often to see what we're up to. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye. <laughs>